Yeah, we hot. The house gotta be hot. Um, like a um, bag of ice, uh -huh. brown sugar, um, and a bar stool. So basically, what you do, you have a girl that's like, you know, nice and prepared. She get here before you. Right. She sit on the bar stool. She sit on the bar. Um, I say the stool right here. She sit on the bar stool backwards this way. Uh -huh. Alright. So you get a bag of ice and you put it like right at the small of her back. Alright. Okay, and just get some brown sugar. And just put it a little bit around bit below the ice. So you know the house already hot, so the ice melted. Right. Okay. Then I call this one uh, wheel of good fortune. So what you do <laughs> as she sit around on the, on the stool, you kinda like spin her and you try to like catch her when you when she when she come around, you try to like catch yeah. her. <laughs> and each time you miss her, the heat. And all the heat and all the time you catch her, you poke her. You try to get every each poke is a letter that you try to spell, like she gotta guess what you trying you trying to say. Okay. So uh, you tell her seven syllables. Um, <laughs> and for every poke you say one letter, she put a can I get an A? Like that. Like, no. Spin her ass again. <laughs> Slide her inside her. By then, and the thing about it, the ice melts before she even get the puzzle wrap. No sex with her. Oh, so you hold it, you hold it, you hold it, make it, make it, does one and more. So that's it for me, man. Will of good fortune. Will of, that's, that's what it's called, will of good fortune. Yeah. So basically, you're spinning your mate in the chair with some ice. And brown sugar. sugar. And brown sugar. And a bar stool. And um, for every time she gets it wrong. Her ass get poked. Yeah, her ass get, she, she gets poked. If she get it right, she get a free spin. Yeah, she gets a free spin. They really think we're going to be doing this shit, dog. We're so serious, we do some crazy stuff, man. It's real people, real topics. In your chest, baby. <laughs> uh, my first one um, for my archive, I call it um, the stairways to the 69th floor. <laughs> Anyways, um, your mate, I have stairways in my house, so it's, it's applicable for me to do this. Um, you take your mate on the stairway, and um, basically, I've, you've probably seen in several triple X videos that they have a vertical 69. Instead of vertical, you're kind of using the stairway as a, a slack angle on the top of the stairway. And um, what you do, you have to, the trick to this is, is, is setting her up on the top of the stairway with her, with her derriere on the last step before the last one. So her, her butt is sort of cushioned in, you know, nicely packed. And her legs are, of course, on the knee band on the top of your body. And so you mount, you mount her very gently. And, um, you know, it's, from the her head and the blood rushing south, it kind of speeds up the fear. But you know, as you um, as she gets more, you know, a little bit uneasy and scary and the fear, that's when you just you know you begin to come near. That's all, and um, you begin to give fellatio. But uh, while you give her her fellatio, you, you keep her knees, uh, make sure her knees are bent, keep her, her ankles supported, so she doesn't slide down the stairway. Yeah. And um, on the other hand, she's gonna, obviously she's going to be um, servicing your tools. But the trick to this here is um, don't don't actually move your hip. Let her do the work with her neck because um, she's going to fatigue a little faster on the neck area because of the, the ankle she's on. Yeah. Yeah. So try try to kind of hold your hip in a, in a steady position so she can do the work with her neck. That way, if she starts to feel a little uh, uh, cramping, she can stop and slow down and just maybe play with the tip. And um, that's so interesting. Yeah, man. with that position. Just yeah. just for that, I'm gonna try to see if I get a two-story house. <laughs> with that uh, position, um, not only will she, not only will the neighbors know your name, but uh, they're gonna think that you're running a church in there because the amount of time she's gonna be shouting out, "Oh my God!" <laughs> so that's my one for my. That's a good one, dog. I like that one. Which, which I named it, you know, out of my archives. The stairways to the 69th floor. Wow, I like that one, dog. That, that, that was like a, a story. I like that one. I like yeah, the way yeah. that took me through the journey. Yeah. Um, well, this one, uh, man. All right. I don't really know why I'm showing this, but um, this one I call it the kingpin. Kingpin? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> kingpin. Um, to better show you guys, I got a little, let me see, I'll give you this sharpie here. I got there. All right. The way you do this one is, um, Okay, let's say this is the girl, right? The girl you got your girl laid down. This is not a big this is this this position, this move is not in the beginning of the set. This is like when you're trying to finish move. Like Mortal Kombat, you're going for the fucking finish. Okay? <laughs> so this you right here, your girl laying on the 
my stomach on the, on the actual bed. You just come up behind her, make sure her legs are closed in. You just jump on top of her, you, know, you slide your thing in. Right. And what you do, you like kind of like grab her like a choke. Why like, that? Like a, <laughs> put like a choke around her neck and hold her. Right. And while you do that, you kind of rotate like clockwork. Like keep rotating, rotating, but you let the choke go. Rotate, rotate, and then you just rotate, yeah, rotate, yeah, rotate, 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 and then what you do, you slide your legs back under her neck like this. <laughs> it's like a tap out position. It's crazy, UFC, man. UFC, that's a UFC position. He Let me tell you something, and when you lock that neck with your leg like this, and you just hold it like that, the king player is alive. Yeah, you but like you're not still penetrating her when you Yes, I am. So you like her with your feet and your knees. Exactly, okay. but I'm still inside of her. Okay. okay. But so you rotate, 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 when you get here. So this works pretty good with a woman that's a bit shorter than you, right? Uh, no, not necessarily. She gotta be about. She gotta be tall. Post your, post she can, she can be short. No, it works. All. It doesn't matter. Okay, but for, for the legs, exactly. Yeah, for the legs and her head. Uh -huh. But she gotta be a good height. She can't. It, it, this for like five three to five ten. Okay. Yeah, less than that is gonna be uncivilized. So you keep rotating, rotating, and you lock it. And after you lock it, then you come back around and you just finish off, oh, man. Ping, ping, ping. That's it, man. That's, that's simple. Yeah. Not that, well, I'm kind of like yours, though. <laughs> Alright, that's Andrew's own. Uh, the first one is uh, Wheel of. Uh, what was the first one? Good Fortune. Wheel of Good Fortune. This one here is the Kingpin. Kingpin. Yeah. Kingpin. Alright, the, the next one I have for you is uh, called Hoodwink. Uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing at my titles, man? That's how I remember this. I'm oh, sorry, dog. Uh, this one's oh, called Hoodwink. Basically, uh, it's. It's basically taking a standard position missionary and just change it to something new. Uh, this is all done on the hood of the car. Uh, the trick to this is, um, thank God we live in Florida, so for some of you that can take advantage of this. It has to be a nice, like, rainy day. When I mean rainy, I don't mean as far as thunderstorm, I mean just the spawn. And what you do is you run, you take your car and, you know, just take it to your usual spot. Everyone has a usual spot where they do sex in the car, so, so I'm pretty sure you can find one yourself. And um, at the, as you drive to the spot, bring a, uh, a sheet, not a blanket, not a comforter, a sheet. So you bring a sheet to the spot with you, and as you ride to this area, uh, the, the hood is going to warm to a certain temperature. Okay, so when you get to the spot, you're going to park under the tree, under the flowers and the birds and whatever. This is a, obviously at nighttime out of the police view. And um, you're going to lay the sheet over the hood in the rain. And what you do, you let her stick her hand out the window as you're rolling up, so the temperature, her body temperature starts to get accustomed to the water, because you just can't take her out of the water. I mean, take her out of the car and just put her in the water and you're going to kind of throw her off. So basically, you go in the hood, you lay her down, and um, with the uh, sheet already soaking from the rain wetting it up, and the hood is warm, you keep the engine running. Keep the car in park, keep the engine running, and it's going to keep the bottom of her nice and warm as this cold water jumping from the top. So it's a sort of weird sensation. But the trick to this in the missionary position is that make sure you hover over her quite a bit so you can shield a lot of the rain because you don't want a lot of the rain hitting her in the face. It can, cause you mainly want the rain to hit her in her body and her arms so you can spread her arms out and everything and, and firm it out. Fun. And also for you guys, it's your job to control the balance and that sliding off. So just latch on. Latch on to the, uh, oh, hood, yeah, yeah, yeah. the hood by the windshield. So that, way, that way you have great control, great Good movement. Grip. Just use more of your, your torso, your hips. And um, you're telling you made that standard missionary position extraordinary, just with that. And um, that's a, a tip to take something that's uh, common and old and reinvent it. But, anyway, but anyways, um, we're out of time. And um, uh, actually, we're over time. Honestly, this is